today with Amy Lanza from Savio in Lexington, Kentucky. Amy, thank you so much for having me. Thanks for coming. I'm excited to be here. Um, like I was mentioning earlier, my horse, Dating Lady Luck, she won yesterday. She broke her maiden at Keeneland. So um, we're in the celebration mode, and I thought with the derby coming up, it would be so much fun for you to teach me how to make the perfect mid julep. Yes. So tell me about mint julep. What makes a good mint julep? Fresh mint. Fresh mint. Okay, and I heard you guys grow it actually right out. Right outside. We have our own herb garden. Okay. But you can also buy some really great mint in the store. So just okay. look for brightly colored mint. We also make our own simple syrup. Which How do you easy. make simple syrup? It's easy. It's just sugar and water mixed okay. together. And it's so expensive to buy it at the store. So making it yourself is probably It's so easy to do. Out. And it's just a 50-50 mix of sugar and water. We okay. at Savio like to use 75% sugar to okay. 25% water. And you were saying it makes it a little more concentrated and the drink kind of goes together. It's a pop. It, it just kind pop. of brings everything together. Okay. So your fresh made simple syrup, we've got fresh mint that's fragrant, bright green, and then tell me about this bourbon because you've got a nice selection of bourbon here at Savio. How do you choose? What it's to put tough, in it's tough, but we love Four Roses okay. with our mint julep. Yeah, I'm a fan of Four Roses too, I love this. It's just easy to drink, it's such a smooth bourbon. Yes, it is. Okay, so, and then tell me, you were mentioning this one's actually made by a horse owner yeah, or Yeah, Pinhook is a new bourbon that's really very, very popular. Um, it's made by horse trainers yeah. that got into the bourbon business because of their passion. We have loved this bourbon. Our guests have loved this bourbon. It's tough to I get. I can't wait to try it's it. It's delicious. We love this. And we also love Bullet. Um, we would like to do that in our Bloody Mary. Yeah, that's what you were saying. Bourbon and the Bloody Mary. I can't I know. imagine that would taste good, but you said it's amazing. I thought the same thing when I first heard about right. it, but they are delicious and I've become such a huge fan and I love making bourbon. I Bloody can't Mary. wait to try it. So you guys do Bloody Marys on Sunday mornings, right? Sunday and Saturday okay. for our brunches. Best way to start your day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so let's make a mint julep. Okay. I'm planning on, um, we're going to be tailgating before the derby and um, one of my horses that I'm associated with, she's actually running on derby day. Her name's I'm Artie Sexy. And so I thought it would be fun that. to make a big picture of uh, mint juleps for all the partners there to kind of get the derby going. So okay. um, I'm, I'm really excited to learn how you do it. Well, I'll show you how to make one. Okay. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to start with fresh mint. Okay. And you want to use 10 to 12 mint leaves depending on the size of the mint leaves. You just kind of judge if they're bigger. Okay. You only want mint. about 10. Yeah. Okay. The more mint, the better. Mm -hmm. Yes. If you want to do one ounce simple syrup. Okay. Oh, look how thick that is. Yes. It's going to be so good. And I love that it's not going to be super sweet. A lot of people put so much simple syrup or that pre-made, like the green. No. Um, it's, yeah. Not so as gross. good. So good. And it's easy enough to do on your own. Yeah. Then you're going to muddle. And okay. this is very gently. You don't want to bruise the mint. Okay. Just about six turns is really quite enough. Okay. So kind of like a mojito or more or less Kind of like a mojito, okay. but not as um, an, an intense aggressive. muddle. Yeah. Yes. I get really aggressive when I make my mojitos. And I'm you muddled. should. <laughs> and you should. But with the mint you don't, don't want to bruise it. it. Okay. Cool. Does that not kind of release the bitter flavor? Yes. A little bitter? Okay. Yes. Okay. Simple syrup and mint. I feel like it doesn't get much easier than that. Simple. I mean, you're going to make a cocktail. Yeah. Yeah. Simple. Exactly. And Add a little fresh. bit of ice. Okay. So you add your ice before the bourbon. Yes. And then we're going to pour the bourbon over top. We're going to do three ounces of bourbon. Nice. I like to be able to taste my liquor. I think that's another thing with mixed drinks. So many people cover up the taste of the alcohol and then you can no enjoy point. it. Yeah. Especially with some great bourbon like right. Four Roses. Yeah, you want to be able to taste it. And you savor it a little more when you can actually taste what you're drinking instead of like chugging it down. Absolutely. So we're going to shake this okay. about six shakes nice and hard. <laughs> okay, and six shakes again not to bruise the mint. Not to be too harsh. Okay. Make sure we keep everything in there. That looks so good. So do you guys make a lot of bourbon cocktails here at Savio? I know you're known for your bourbon selection. We do. We have a lot of people that just come in and want bourbon or yeah. they have and old fashions. Right. And then we created a cocktail called Bourbon and Bubbles. For bourbon the, and Bubbles. What's in that? It's just champagne and some oh, lemon citronella and um, limoncello. Lemon limoncello. Yeah. Oh, yum. And Buffalo Trace bourbon. Okay. It's delicious. So it's like bubbly, a little sweet, a little sour. Yes, mm. it's been very, very popular. Mm. Anything with champagne can't go wrong. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> or just by itself. So yeah, it's like a Pappy too up there. That's awesome. Very good for it. Love Pappy. Nice. Okay, so what next? So now we're going to fill our glass with crushed ice. Okay. Crushed ice is the key with the mint jewel. Okay. Lots of it. Lots of crushed ice. It keeps it nice and cold. Okay. And now we're just going to strain. Oh, how pretty. I love the color. It's got that rich, dark bourbon color. 
You can see that simple syrup still kind of yes. in a thicker consistency. Mm. And now we're going to add a mint spray. Mm -hmm. That is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. It's got enough sweetness to really make it smooth and uh, the bourbon. That is so good. I love the freshman. Yay! I think I'm ready for derby now. I can't wait. Thank you so much. Thank you.